Okay, good afternoon, guys. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Aaron Hernandez and his death. Um, it's sad that um, we lost a very good player. You know, he was a very good player on the Patriots. Even I was a Jets fan, but I hated playing whenever his team played against us. He had close to $40 million. Um, it's It sucks that this system has just... Um, got rid of him and I see a lot of hateful comments on Instagram on on YouTube about him saying oh he's good for him the, like they said people are saying oh they're glad that this happened to him they're glad he's gone saying oh he should burn the lake of fire and I don't know what America has turned into um, I thought America was a place of second chances I thought America was a place of giving hope and at least looking at the situation. I'm not saying what he did is right. What he did was wrong. But I'm not going to take anyone's life away. Even if someone made a mistake, he did. You know. So um, he had a sentence. He was supposed to be in jail maybe for life. Then let him be in jail for life. People should not be thinking about he should have, he should be dead. They're glad he's dead. Dude, you have to understand, Aaron Hernandez, he has a daughter. Aaron Hernandez has a mother. Aaron Hernandez has a father. Aaron Hernandez has cousins. Aaron Hernandez has a wife. Aaron Hernandez has friends. They're not openly, you know, you may not see them openly, but Aaron Hernandez has friends. Even Aaron Hernandez has a lawyer that cares about him, that has a mutual bond with him. So, anytime you make fun of a life, any type of life, when I mean any type, I mean any type, good or bad, mistake, no mistake, you have to understand that there's people around them that care about them. And when you're making comments about him, you're also hurting his family. He died. There's nothing you can do about it. There is nothing you can bring him back. There is nothing you can think of about this situation. The best you can do is is let him rest in peace. Please don't tarnish his name. Because you got to understand, you, you may not have to deal with it. You're going to forget about him tomorrow. You're going to forget your comments maybe in, for in six hours. But his family has to live with it. And his friends have to live with it for the rest of their life. You don't know how the relationship his friends have with him. You don't know the relationship his wife had with him. You don't know the relationship his daughter had with him. They have to live with this for the rest of their life. They lost their father. They lost their friend. They lost their lover. They lost their son. So, all you people there that are quote-unquote Christians and how Jesus, he forgave. Jesus loved everyone. He loved the tax collector. He loved the thieves. He loved the prostitutes. He loved the outcasts. He loved all the sinners. He treated them as equal. He even loved Saul. Saul did a lot of bad stuff to other Christians. I'm not going to say on this YouTube, but you know what I mean. There's Saul who changed his name to Paul, who wrote majority of the New Testament. Now, uh, also, um, there's a lot of theories. Each, actually, even his lawyer said that it could have been murder, that um, they're probably... The the correctional officers in Boston in that uh, jail, I forgot the name of the f correction facility, that they they staged his death, that you know they probably actually killed him, and they probably made it look like he hanged himself. Um, it is possible. It it is possible. He did get. He just beat his appeal. He beat a case, a double murder case, even though he had another case where he had to, they lost. That was what we Lloyd. Um, it is possible that um it is possible that it was staged. You know, but um we will never know and if we do know, uh we'll probably know in the near future. But I'm not gonna talk in that situation. We all know how jail is, we all know how the system is, especially in these days and age, how corruptive it is. We all know if someone can beat a, ca a case, it's possible he can win his appeal for the next case. But that's all I'm going to talk about. I'm just going to talk today about the morning of Aaron Hernandez. 
whether people like it or not, I'm going to talk about what he did, that he was an amazing tight end. If not, he would have had the best duel between him and Gronkowski. The Patriots would have continuously won every single year if he did not go to jail. Every single year. Because I'm not going to lie, that duo of Aaron Hernandez and Gronkowski was hard to stop. You know. Um, But, you know, this guy, he's done a lot, man. He had $40 million. He was on the high of his life. He was only 27 years old. Think about it. 27 years old as a millionaire. 20, he's so young. 27 year old, and you already saw a majority of your life. You know, so I'm going to say this that please, whatever you do, if you hated the man, even for the family of Odin Lloyd, I know they prayed for him, and even the family of Odin Lloyd, they prayed for Aaron Hernandez. And they know he got his justice. Well, yeah, they know they got their justice. Um, I know for a fact, everyone, just mourn and just say rest in peace. You don't got to say enough. You don't got to like the man. You don't got to put pictures of him on your wall. All I'm saying is respect his family. Give them time to mourn. Give them time to mourn. Don't put negative comments on Instagram. You don't know the man. You don't know the situation. You are not involved with it. Okay? He's dead. There's nothing you can do. He's dead. I don't know what more you guys want. I don't know what more you guys want. He's a human being. So, this is a, it's a very sad um, YouTube video. But, um, uh, peace.